Hello friends and welcome back to Swift Guitar Lessons for another acoustic song tutorial. Recently I received a request from one of my patrons, Sam this one goes out to you, uh, for Elvis Presley's Crying in the Chapel. Now this is actually one of my all-time favorite Elvis tunes, simply because his vocal performance on the original recording is just so beautiful and so heartfelt. Um, in addition, despite uh, being raised Quaker, it kind of reminds me of being young and visiting my grandparents at their chapel and there being parties and just this sense of peace and wholesomeness there. Um, so this kind of reminds me of that and uh, brings me back to those times. So uh, I'm going to go through the entire tune, just a performance. I want you to see what you can figure out using your ear and your musical experience. And then from there, I'm going to break it down for you part by part. It's pretty simple, but we're going to challenge ourselves using some movable bar chord shapes. As always, I got a full PDF study guide at patreon.com slash swiftlessons. Support the channel there and gain access to a ton of extra resources for all my popular YouTube guitar lessons. Now, let's get started. A one, two, three. You saw me crying in the chapel. The tears I shed were tears of joy. I know the meaning of contentment Now I'm happy with the Lord Just a plain and simple chapel Where humble people go to pray I pray the Lord that I'll go stronger As I live from day to day I searched and I searched All but I couldn't find No way on earth to gain peace of mind Oh yes, we gather in the chapel Just to sing and praise the Lord You'll search and you'll search All but you'll never find Nowhere on earth to gain peace of mind Down on your knees and pray. Yes, then your burden will be lighter, and you'll surely find the way. Okay, close look at the fretboard, getting started breaking down my interpretation of this classic Elvis recording. Now, in the original track, Elvis starts off singing a cappella. You saw me crying in the chapel. Now, there he's using the scale major pentatonic in the key of B. I like to back up my voice playing that little riff. That's completely optional, but it's something that's useful for those of you who might be having some trouble with your pitch. You saw me crying in the... All right, so that's seventh fret of the low E string, a whole step up, and then just right up the scale. Okay, once you've done that, then you can jump into the chord progression. It's going to be E major, chapel. The tears I shed were tears of B major, joy. 
I know the meaning of con. Now next we'd have C sharp major or my preference C sharp dominant seven. Another borrowed chord in E minor, the four chord played as a minor shape. Just two beats before going to the five chord, F sharp dominant seven. And then back to the one chord for the turnaround. One, two, three, four, one, and two, and three, and four, and chapel. All right, then right into the next verse. Okay, so just five chords that you have to have down. That four chord in the key of B, E major, fret seven, nine, nine, nine. If you get the high E string in there by mistake, no problem, I think that sounds fantastic. Then to the one chord, bar in E to E, seventh fret. We also have the ninth fret of the A string, D string, and eighth fret of the G. B major. Then that borrowed chord, dominant seven, C sharp, dominant seven. There's more than one place you can play it, but I prefer it here in the fourth fret position uh, in preparation for the chorus. So frets four, uh, six, four, six, four. All right, pulling back with both arms, pressing your chest into the guitar to get a nice clear bar chord. All right, then we had the E minor chord. Such an interesting um, composition tip right there. You can always throw in a minor four chord into your compositions for a little extra flavor. Okay, so that's going to be frets seven, nine, nine, eight, and seven. Then the five chord in the key of B, which is F sharp. We're gonna play it as F sharp dominant seven. Frets nine, eight, nine, seven. A movable shape that's every single dominant seven chord in the book. And actually all of these shapes are movable because there's no open strings. Okay, so let's apply what we've just learned to verse number two. So, just a plain and simple chapel. Just down and up strokes with a gallop. Where humble people go to B major, the one chord. I pray the Lord that I'll grow. C sharp dominant seven, stronger. The minor four chord, E minor. One, two, F sharp seven. Day two. All right, now here we have a different turnaround to lead us into the chorus. Looks and sounds like this. Day to the E, to the B, two, B7, removing the pinky. One, two, and. All right, that gets us to chorus number one. Okay, jumping into the chorus section, it's gonna look and sound like this, starting with the four chord, E major, then to its minor variety. I've searched and I've searched, but I couldn't find no way on earth to gain peace of mind. Now I'm happy in the... Then obviously we're back into the next verse. Okay, so we have the E major, a one, two, E minor, one, two, to the one chord, one and two, and now introducing a new chord, G sharp minor. Bar in the fourth fret, I also have sixth fret of the A string and sixth fret of the D string. All right, so once more, I've searched and I've searched, but I couldn't find. All right, then just C sharp dominant seven, no way on earth to gain peace of mind, and a short stop on the F sharp dominant seven chord. Okay, now let's do that once more. Practice, but with the count. A one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Now that gets us into verse number three, which is played verbatim, but we will throw in another variation to the turnaround. So. Chapel, where people are of one accord.
chord at B major. All right, you know what to do? Yes, we gather in the chapel to the E minor just to sing and praise the... Now, we're gonna change up the turnaround with a walk up. Lord, the one chord, the four chord, and one, two, and three, four. Just throwing in the ninth fret of the low E string and the 11th fret of the low E string. So one, two, and three, four. Okay, that'll get us to chorus number two, which is played the exact same way as chorus number one. And then that'll get us to our final verse, verse number four, which is played the exact same way as the previous verses. But we are going to throw in a fancy little end in. Okay, so transporting us to the very end of the song, we'll have, then your burdens will be light. E minor. And you'll surely find. I like to ring out on that F sharp dominant seven chord and then resolve to the one chord B. The way, and you'll surely find the way. All right, a nice little end in there, utilizing the major scale key of B, but played as third. All right, so one more time, that riff. And you'll surely find the way. Okay, so. We're fretting ninth fret of the D string, eighth fret of the G string, sliding in, then eight and six. Then we're gonna have 11 and nine, A string and D string, then nine and eight. Take those fingers down a full step. All right, then the E string, A string, uh, 11 and nine, and then to a chord that we're calling B6 add nine. So. So here I'm fretting seven, six, 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 seven, seven. Okay, B6 add nine because we have the six interval and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, the octave of the two, the nine. All right, so that end in one more time. Let's see if you can play it with me. And you'll surely find a way. All right, just like that, if you can put all those parts together, congrats to you, you're ready to perform. All right, everybody, thanks so much for checking out this Elvis Presley guitar tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below, and be sure to let me know what song I should teach next. You can also submit requests at swiftguitar.com slash request. As always, big thanks to my supporters at patreon.com slash swiftlessons. I hope you're enjoying all those extra resources, and thanks to you guys. i got many more lessons coming up, so keep checking in. Please subscribe, please share. This is Rob coming at you from Summers Point, New Jersey, saying happy picking.